we go to talk about learning. Learning is boring, apparently. Uh, I've heard this before, but it kind of came to light in a live stream I did this past week, where, so, where we were talking about why some uh, YouTubers that pretend to teach you something is not getting that much traction. And then you look at DJ where that are teaching you something, it's not getting any traction. And the overall consent is, well, he's boring. Yeah, learning is boring. <laughs> What what did you expect? Like, uh, are you going to you know your la local stand up uh, club and getting you know entertainment when you're learning? No, learning is boring. That's why a lot of people don't like doing it. That's also why we have a lot of uneducated people or not highly educated people, because you have to apply yourself. Okay, you have to be part of the fucking thing. You cannot learn and not be engaged and be part of the thing that you're trying to learn. You have to do part of the work, and part of that work is listening to really boring fucking information because you need it it's learning and doing stuff you don't want to do or learn because it you seem or deem it being unnecessary but that knowledge built on uh, you know that you then build on, on top with other knowledge that you then build further on with other knowledge that will then get you to the end result people nowadays they want to get from i have no fucking idea what i'm doing to let's build a fucking rocket and put me people on mars that's the the progression they want the few fucking minutes that we're going to just learn what rocket fuel is it has to be done by fucking the most popular comedian that i like right now that's not how it works, people. You have to, like, learning is so much about you as it is about people teaching it to you. I will 100,000% agree that some people are better at teaching than others. I will definitely agree on that. And, and you can make learning a little bit more engaging, a little bit more, um, not fun, but really, yeah, let's call it fun. You can, of course you can do that. But in the end, you can only do so much. If you're going to learn algebra or you're going to learn classes in c plus plus you can kind of do it a little bit like you know cheek and tongue you know throw a little bit of a haha in there but you're not going from that class laughing your fucking tits off you, you know because if you're going from that class last, uh, laughing your tits off you probably not learned anything everything every information from when you started to laugh is out of the fucking window you don't get anything out of it so a, a good educator will make you stay awake by, you know, put a little bit fun thing there, a little bit fun th thing there, but they educate. And I sadly feel, I, I, I'm, <laughs> maybe it's because I'm close to 40, I'm getting a, a lot of these moments in life right now, but it's like, what the fuck, man? If, if people want to learn, but they also want to be entertained, like they are watching a fucking, you know, Fast and Furious video. How is the future going to look? Because th that just means that, oh, I'm not entertained. So therefore they are not going to do the thing or learn the thing. We will end up with a fucking bunch of uneducated people then. Like I, nothing is fun. Oh, well, not, not everything is fun. You can hear I've only slept like four hours last night. It's not fun to learn. It can be entertaining to learn to some extent. But I, I will ask you this. If I now gave you the formula for uranium, and while I'm giving you that, you just laughed. It's so fucking much you're peeing yourself. Do you honestly think you could remember the formula for uranium? No. You're more in tune with the thing that made you laugh like a motherfucker because of endorphins in your brain and all that fucking shit and... That's what you will remember the most. You may remember a little bit about it, but you will remember that the most. That's why you don't see teachers being stand-up comedians. They can be funny and they can they can they can make their education entertaining, but you are not going to a stand-up fucking show. And, and I hope that people will take this to heart. It's not being negative. It's it's not being angry at people or, or, or saying that, oh, these are bad people for focusing more on entertainment. No, you just have to remember. When you're watching those kind of content creators, you are being entertained. You are watching entertainment. They can teach you a little bit, but the primary focus, the thing that they're doing, that they're focusing on, is getting you entertained. And that also means that their education may not be as good as you think it is. Because to entertain you, you sometimes have to do stuff that will make you laugh. You know, And when you're laughing your tits off, you will forget a lot of things up to that point. You will get what made you laugh. But everything else, you kind of... Like, if you're going to a stand-up show and you're drinking, you know... 
a really, really hot cup of coffee or something I'm doing right here. You just ordered it, you take a sip of it, it's fucking amazing. The comedian is saying something, and you're laying fucking on the floor laughing your ass off. You can probably remember what he said. But what kind of coffee did you get? What beer did you get? How many sips did you take of that beer? How long since you ordered that beer before you left your tits off? That would become a really big blur. And and honestly, you have to fucking have a good head on your shoulders to to, to laugh your tits off and then remember all of these fucking things. The beer or the drink that you have, how many sips you're taking off it, how long ago you ordered it, that could be you learning coding. That's the real information. Laughing your tits off is just to make sure that you're awake. If you watch DistroTube and think you're becoming a fucking computing genius or Linux fucking expert, you're fooling yourself. I'm sorry, but you're fucking fooling yourself. You may learn a little bit here and there, but you're learning the, the bare fucking minimum. You're learning rudimentary shit that if you just use Linux for six months, you will know it already by default. But if you go on to DJ where you could become a full-blown fucking IT pro by watching his videos. You could suck in the knowledge from his videos and get a fucking job out of it. DistroTube could not land you a job, trust me. He can't. Talking for someone that have landed a job because of his fucking YouTube channel. And talking about Linux. But yeah, you get what I'm saying here, or at least landed a project. I hope you kinda can understand what I'm saying here. And if you just want to be entertained, that's fucking fine. I don't say you should not watch them or, or watch those shows. Do it and get excited and stuff like that. But don't fool yourself and sit here and watch Bill the, the, the science guy or Bill or what the fuck is called or, or, or watch like, a, you know, a, a 40 minute show on the universe on, on HBO and think you are now a fucking astrophysicist. No, you're not. You may know a little bit than you, than you started out with. You have like a little bit more knowledge than you started out with. But you still know, like, the things they talk about all the time, it's stuff that you fucking learn like in your first six months at, in, in that specific area. Or you can learn by just for reading a fucking rudimentally simple book about the subject. So yeah, it, it, learning is boring. It should be to some extent. Not so boring you fall asleep, you know. I like, I personally like teachers that when they are teaching, they once in a while make you giggle a little bit, but they are not making you fucking laugh your tits off. Like a little bit of a giggle here, there, or well, oh, what, what happened here, you know, make you wake up a little bit. You know, um, make it relatable. So you're like, oh, 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 I can relate to that, you know. Make it relatable and make you giggle a little bit. That's great, teachers. But if they're trying to make you fucking laugh so hard you can't breathe, they ruin most of the fucking hour that they are going to teach you something with because you, you it takes you minutes to 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 like let's get back on this okay what did he say before this what's happening like and, and he has to stop saying anything until everyone's calmed down or you are calmed down because he cannot while you're laying there and peeing yourself or peeing all over the floor laughing he cannot teach you anything you are out of commission so to speak like you are running around and rolling around your own fucking piss. You, he can't use you for anything until you dust yourself off, set your fat ass on the chair, relax a little bit, got some fucking air in you, maybe change your clothes. Then he can start to inform you a little bit. And then again, it takes a couple of minutes before your brain and all of that fucking shit is relaxed again. You're back to a baseline. There's a reason why teachers are not stand-up comedians when they're teaching. It's not the optimal way to learn. If that was the optimal way, if Joe Rogan or Tom Segura or Bert Kreiser, if they were the people that were the optimal teachers, they would be teachers. They would be earning way more money than they are right now teaching because they would make you laugh and learn at the same time, which would be a fucking win-win if you ask me. There's a reason why Jordan Peterson makes a lot of money teaching people or Andy Hopper, man. They can do be funny, they can say funny shit, but if you watch a podcast of those or episode of what you record of those fucking what they're doing, it's like here and there just to make sure that you're awake and, and you are tuned in and stuff like that. And they're great teachers. You can't combine those two. I'm sorry. I know we all want it easy. But if you want to learn, you fat idiot. <laughs> You have to apply yourself. And it takes hard work to learn. It takes hard work to get good at what you're learning. If something was easy, everyone would be doing it. That's the golden rule in life. If it's easy, everyone would be doing it. If it was easy to become an expert in something, everyone would be an expert. So if it's not easy, that also means it's probably not fun, okay? But anyway, off my fucking old man horse here. See you all later, have an amazing day, bye bye.